Here we go. All right, everybody, shoulder rolls. You know that. Uh, turn on your watches to other, straight, whatever you like to use. And reverse those arms. Let's take it side to side in a twist. Let's go. Rosemary, good morning. Pivoting on the outside foot and follow it through with a little punch. Take the arms, swing and tap. You know this one, good old fashioned. Take it to a side to side lunge, roll the shoulders back and around. Open up those hips, four more, three more. Hold it on your left side, little press, little bend and straighten, a little bend and snap on your left leg. Four, three, two, hold it here. Right hand down, pivot to your left side. Left arm up, open twist. Hold it there. Little pulses in that back leg, keep the leg straight, just drop your hip down. Four more counts. Three, two and one, hand down. Good, straighten front leg, turn it around to the center. Walk over to your right leg, hands on the thigh, take it down and up. Give me four more. And hold it here, left hand down, pivot over to the right side, right arm up, and little drop of the hip. Release the right hand down, straighten the right leg, turn around to the center. Walk your toes open, bring your elbows inside of your thighs, drop it side to side. Good. Hey, Rosemary, welcome back. Come back to center, hands on your thighs, right shoulder presses in, and then left shoulder presses in. Both arms to center, round your back, pull the belly in, extend your spine, arch it. And then round your back, turn your toes in, release your arms behind your back, palms together, knuckles to the sky, let your head hang down. Oh, let's make it happen. Roll up, chin to chest. Take the arms all the way up overhead, walk your feet together. Give a nice hug to the right leg. Open up, uh, rank, roll through the ankle, rankle. Yeah, and switch sides. Open up. Rotate the ankle. All right, let's go. Two weights, squat to an overhead, actually squat, hammer to an overhead press, but we rotate on the, tor uh, the pivot on the foot. We rotate the torso to the right side. We've got 12 of those. Use a weight that you can do overhead comfortably for at least 12 reps, actually a little bit more than 12 reps, because after that we're gonna hit some shoulders straight on shoulders, so in four, three, where's Cindy? Two, you there, Cindy? All right, here we go, in four, three, two, let's squat. Squat down, bring it to a hammer curl, and then turn to the right side, that's one. Down, two, three, four, we're pivoting on the outside leg, Five, six. Remember, if it starts to get too heavy, guess what? Lighten up. Seven, eight. Now we've got four more. You're going to keep the arms overhead. Four, three, two more, one more. Now stay here with your arms, alternate right. Left, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. All right, put those weights down. Some of you will take yourself to a chair even. Put the weights to the floor. Bend your knees. Step your right foot back low. Now here's an option. Weights on the floor, lift them up. So you have a little height for your hands to rest on. Right leg steps back, low hips. Without lifting your hips, try to bring your right leg to your left. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, good. So you could be on a table, a chair, eight, a dog, nine, <laughs> 10, two more, one more. Good, switch legs, left leg is back. Nice and low in those hips, lunge up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, four more, three more, two more, one more, feet together. Good, stand up nice and tall, shake out your legs. From a standing position, right leg back, right hamstring curl, right leg back, kick your butt, go. 12, 11, notice the front leg is not coming up and down. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two more. Last one, and change. Left leg back, or if that was the leg you used before, go to the other side. Three, two, let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Sitting as low as your body lets you. Seven, eight, last four, three, two, one. Come on up. All right, shake it out. We got a second set of that. I'm gonna go with a different set of weights. We start with a squat, hammer to an overhead press with rotation, bottom foot or outside foot. We'll turn to the side and we pivot our hips. Get ready in four, three. Everybody sit back towards your heels. Two, one, here we go. Squat, hammer, turn one. Squat, hammer, turn two. Good. Three. Four. Five. Six. Looking good out there, guys. Seven. Eight. Nine. Three more. Ten. Drive from your heels. Last two. Keep your arms up on this last one. Alternate arms. Twelve. Eleven. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Weights down. If you can stand your weights up on their side and get lower, hands to the floor is an option, hands to a chair, a couch, anything else will work. All right, let's step the right leg back. Try to keep your left knee over your ankle and try not to lift your hips into the lunge. Ready, here we go. One, two. So your left thigh is staying as parallel to the floor as it can, five. This all depends on your knees as well. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Two more, one more, 12. Shake it out, switch legs. Left leg back. Low hips, three, two, go. One, two, three, four. Sit into that right leg, five, six, good. Seven, eight, four, three, two, one. Good, move it over to the side, stand up again. Right leg goes behind you, bend both knees, hamstring curl on the right side, and goes in four, three, two, here we go. Kick, two, three, four, flex your foot, five, six, seven, try not to move your body, eight, just your knee, nine, 10, 11, 12, turn it around. 
other leg. You don't have to turn around. I'm just doing it for the camera. All right? Right knee bends. Both knees bend. Three, two, one. 12, 11, 10, 9. Kick your heel to your butt. 7, 6, 5, 4. Firm that right leg. 3, 2, 1. And up. Shake it out. There you go. Easy peasy. First sit down. Second set. Deadlifts to an upright row. Get an accommodating weight. An upright row is here. Elbows and shoulders higher than your wrists. All right. Deadlift all the way down to the floor. Or towards the floor, I should say. 12 of these with an upright row. If your shoulders are feeling it, go lighter. We start in four. Three, two, soft knees, one, here we go. Take it down, bring it up, elbows higher than wrists, ready? Here we go. Two, come up, three, two, three, four, come up. Good, so take it slow on the way down, four. Knees are soft, not locked, five, Keep your eye gaze looking forward. Six. Good. Don't round your shoulders. Seven. Good job. Eight. Hi, Adam. <laughs> Nine. Ten. Two more. One more. Good, now, heavy weights, so if you're using heavy weights, this is for you. You can sit down in a chair if you have one nearby. You can stay in a bent over position if you're willing to stand up for it. Okay, bend your knees, bent over rows in four, three, two, here we go. One, two, three, squeeze the elbows by your side, four, five, Six, seven, eight, pull those arms back. Nine, ten, two more, one more. Good, come up, release your shoulders, stretch out your back. We're back in a bent over position for a rear delt fly. Lighter, possibly lighter weights. Same weight if you can in four, three, two, here we go. Twelve, eleven. 10, 9, 8, get bent over, 7, 6, bend over more guys if you can, if your back is not an issue, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, good, all right, combination of both moves, one row, one fly, all right, give you back a little stretchy stretch, Pick up a lighter weight if you need to, or the weights you're using. Get ready. In four, three, two, let's go. One row, fly one, two, three, four, five. Shoulders pull together, six, halfway through. If you feel tension in your neck, seven, drop your chin to your chest. Eight, good. Nine, ten, two more. Last one. And good, take it down. All right. Second set, second circuit. Second, I should say, second and final set. Deadlifts to an upright row. Give yourself a little stretch in the neck if you're feeling it. Again, if you feel tension in your neck, just let your chin come down, maybe lighten the weights. Make sure you're not lifting your shoulder blades up. All right, here we go. Softly pick up your weights. Deadlift first. We go slow on the way down for those deadlifts. Four, three, two. Go down, two, three, four. Come up, pull it up. There we go. Two, two, three, four. Pull it up. Good, here we go. 
three. Pull it up. Uh huh. Four. Look forward, not down. And up. Five. Six. Come up. Seven. Over the hump. Just like us on Wednesday. Eight. Don't look down. Don't let that back round. Look forward. Four more. Four. That's good, Joe. All the way up. Three more. Last two, please. Again, elbows are higher than shoulders, but we're not lifting our traps. One more time. And bring it down. All right. Stand up, give your back a little stretch. Bent over, rows your necks in four, three, two, here we go. 12, 11, squeeze your elbows together, shoulders together. Five, six, seven, eight, four more. Four, three, one more. Good, stand up, stretch your back. Rear delt flies. Torsos are in the same position as your bent over rows. So as much as your body will allow you. Here we go. In four, three, two, let's go. 12, 11, 10, nine. As always, if I'm going too fast or too slow, you do your own. Just go for 12, seven, halfway six, five, four, three, one more. Good, take a short rest. Get rid of the tension in your neck and shoulders, arms. Let it go, shake it out. Combination coming up. Bent over row to rear fly. Pick up your weights, bend your knees, chest out, hips back. In four, three, two, go. One, open, two, open, three, uh-huh, four, five, tension in the neck, drop your chin, six, halfway, seven, eight, nine, looking good, ten, two more, one more time, ah, good, stand up, put it down, stretch out your arms a little bit, roll it out, shake it out, all right, we've got a rear lunge, you know, if you're not lunging, you're just tapping back, rear lunge with a bicep curl, we're going to alternate legs on that, all right, so we're just going to do 12 with a good bicep curl, then I'll cue you into it, all right, Grab your water, grab your towel. We have moderate to heavier weights. One in each hand. Ready to step back. Right foot first. You can also keep your leg back the whole time. No, you can't because we're changing sides. Sorry. You can't do that. You have to just tap back. In three, two, here we go. One, two, Three, nice and controlled guys, four, there's no rush. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two more, and twelve. Good, now, options. Sit in a chair, sit on a step, squat down, or kneel down. So I'm gonna kneel for a second. Another option, by the way, is to stay upright and put your hand underneath your elbow. But we're gonna do a concentration curl here. Left elbow inside of left thigh, actually left tricep inside of left thigh. Um, stability ball is good too. Stability ball, table, uh, chair, 
couch. Yeah, it all works. Or kneeling or squatting. Squatting is fun, okay? If you, if you got it and you do it. All right, left arm, curl down. One, all the way down. Two, now the arm doesn't move. Three, the elbow bends, but nothing comes off the leg. Four, down. Five, down. Six, curl. Seven, Eight, good, four more. Four, three, two, one more. One, good, switching legs if you're uh, kneeling like me, if you're sitting on the chair or anything else, we're just switching arms, or maybe you're standing up and holding onto your tricep. Otherwise, dig that tricep into the inner thigh, pick up your weight in four, three, here we go. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, good, 7, 6, 5, 4, good job, 3, 2, one more, 1, good, now, if you're sitting, you can stay seated. If you're not, let's get a mat out. Take two of your weights. Come on down to the floor. Pick up your weights. You have a choice here as well. You can stay upright with a little lean back for bicep curls right here, or you can come all the way down and curl all the way up for 12 reps. Grab your weights, grab your mat, grab your hat. Come on, let's, your, your coats, let's get happy. Arms in, I'm gonna go down through the sit-up. Round your back, let's go. Take it down, one, curl. Two, curl. If you're on a bench for any reason, just do the curls. Five. Good, keep going, halfway there. Four more times. Four, lift, three, scoop out your belly. Two more times. One more time, please. And up. All right, little stretch to those arms. If you're sitting, if you're on your mat, you can either move it behind you Take it off the way, out of the way. I'm just gonna roll my back a little bit because we have lunges. Back for our second set. Grab some water. I know, it's so dry. All right, alternating lunges with bicep curls. That's our first set. Moderate to heavy weights. Whatever you got, whatever you can do. Everybody ready? You got four. Three, here we go. Two, remember you can just tap back. Here we go, one. Curl, one. Two, up. Three, up. So the leg in front really has to pull you back up. Five, six, seven, Eight, last four. Four, three, two, one more, one, good. All right, so choose where you did that uh, concentration curl from before. I might as well put my mat down now. We're gonna start with our left arm Firmly planted inside of our left inner thigh. All right, pick up one weight, curl it up. Three, two, one. Down. Now, if you need a little help, just like touch the wrist a little bit. Three, 
down, four, good, five. Make sure that arm isn't moving. I mean, the elbow is bending, but the shoulder's not moving. Six, seven, eight, nine, three more, two, one, change sides, right arm in, right hand holds away. We go in three, two, here we go. One, curl, two, curl. Remember, if you need a little assistance, just gently touch, gently touch. Four, five, Six, seven, last four, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. All right. Last one is sit up with a bicep curl or just sitting up with a bicep curl. Maybe you're still standing with a bicep curl. Choose it. If you're doing a sit up with me, arms in. In four, three, two, let's go. Bring it down. One, scoop out your belly. Two, up. So you have a rounded spine going down. You don't tap into that tailbone. Four, up. Five, up. Six, keep going, halfway. Seven, eight, nine, ten, two more. One more, and twelve, good. Stretch your arms back behind you, open up your chest. Now, you're gonna need a light set of weights for the next thing we're doing, okay? You'll need regular weights and a light set of weights. One of the moves is a little bit more awkward than some of the others, all right? So the first thing we're gonna do is take one of your heavier weights, your water and your towel, come nearby if you can. We're gonna sit in a straddle. Now, it doesn't have to be your biggest straddle, and it can be a bent knee straddle. All right, take one of your heavy weights and bring it over your head. We're just gonna do tricep overhead presses with our legs in a straddle. And this will lead us to something later. All right, so weight in your chest. You can hold the weight either way. See what works best for you. Arms up, here we go. 12, 11, 10, nine. You can do the standing in a plie. Seven, six, five, four, three, two more. Last one, here you go. Nice and easy, okay. Here's your light weight. Option to stand up, sit up, or be on your back. The action is over your head and straight up to the sky. So if you're on your back, you're just gonna bring it, your arm a little bit in front of your face. It can feel a little awkward at times. I suggest starting with a lighter weight just to get the action, but you can totally do the standing, sitting, or on your back, all right? So everybody, lay back. If you're laying back, I'll do it from a laying back position. If you're on your back and you wanna lift your legs in the air, go for it. Hold the weight between your first two fingers. Right arm is gonna secure, I'm sorry, left hand is gonna secure the right tricep. Bring the arm over your head, over to the other shoulder, and press it up one, two, three, four. Good, so again, no movement at the shoulder. Five, just at the tricep or at the elbow. Six, seven, eight, four, three, two, 
good. Same thing on the other side. Hold it between your first two fingers. Arm up. Right hand secures the left tricep. In four, three, two, let's go. One, two, three, four, don't forget to breathe, five, six, seven, eight, four, three, two more. Last one. Good. Sit up. Go back to your heavier weights. Preferably two weights, but if you've got to go to one weight, that's okay. We're going to first do skull crushes to the skull. Two weights or one weight to your forehead. What you do with your hips and legs is up to you. You could be in a bridge. You can um, keep your legs in the air just as I just did, or straight or bent or on the floor. All right, on your backs. Arms up. I'm just trying to turn my body a little bit angled. Elbows, again, the same action with the arms. The shoulders don't move in four. It must be nice out now for you to send you good. Forehead only. One. Two. Three. Keep your abs nice and tight. Four. That doesn't mean hold your breath. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, three more. 10, 11, 12, good. Now, same action, but you're gonna bring your arms behind your head. So it's not a pullover, it's a tricep extension. All that we've been doing are tricep extensions for the last four exercises, so thank you, okay? On your back, you're welcome, I should say. All right, so a little bit more stretch over your head in four. You there, three. Good, elbows point forward. Let's go. All the way back, extend, bend, extend, three, up. So remember, the action's in the elbow, not the shoulders. Four, five, good, six. What do you think, Cosby? Up, seven. Eight, nine, ten, two more, eleven, and twelve. All right, you should have felt those. Yeah, maybe yes, maybe no. Well, guess what? We're going to do a combination, but we're just going to do twelve reps. So one to the one to the forehead, one over the head. Just twelve reps, though. Same weight or lighten it up if you need to. Arms up, legs up or down in four, start at your forehead. Two and one, here we go. One, overhead, two, overhead, three. Just check out your abdominals. Make sure they're not pushing out. Last one, six, and up. That's just like, you know, the icing on the cake. Stretch out your arms, shake it out a little side to side, roll your shoulders back and around. Good, big stretch, arms overhead in front of you just to release a little bit of the back of the arm and shoulder as we go back to our first tricep exercises. So now, you've done a bunch of tricep exercises. If they're, if they're tired, check out a lighter weight. All right, first one is in a seated position in a straddle. It can be bent leg or straight leg, uh, or you can stand up and do a plie. Pick up your weight, bring it up overhead. Three, two, one, let's go. One, two, all the action that we're doing is pretty much the same. Five, six, Bye, bye, Cindy, I thought you were gonna get to stay. Seven, eight, four, three, two, and one. So that one is like the one we just did, final one, all the way over the head, gets a nice little stretch. All right, take a weight on your back, sitting or standing over your head. So the arm comes over your head and we extend the elbow. All right, everybody down, where are you going? 
Weight is in between your first two fingers. Hold on to your, your right tricep. Three, two, one, go. One, press up. Two, so you're pressing straight up to the ceiling. Three, four. On your back, it's gonna feel a little bit more awkward. Six, seven, eight, four, three, one more. And switch sides. Hold on to the weight between your first two fingers. Hold on to the arm at the back of the tricep. Three, two, one, let's go. 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, stretch it out. Okay, now the fun begins. We're back to the tricep uh, skull crushers. Two weights, one weight, heavy would be awesome. On your backs, arms up. You choose where you want your legs in four, three, two to your forehead. One, up, two, three, four, five, Now the one that goes over, it sounds like friends, the one that, the one that goes over your head to the floor behind you, but it's not a pullover, all right? Arms up, ready, move them back a little bit, let's go. One, up, two, belly in, three, four, so just a little deeper stretch, five, six, seven, Eight, your triceps should be nice and tired by now. Nine, 10, 11, and 12. All right, this last one is still 12 reps. It's one to the forehead and one to the floor behind you. All right, just 12 reps, not 12 sets. I mean, if you wanna do 12 sets, just turn me off and go on with it. All right, on your backs in four, three, Two, first is forehead. One, two behind you. Three, four, five, six, six more, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! All right. Open up your chest. There you go. All right. We've got some push-ups. If you're on a step for any reason, you'll keep one hand on and one hand off. If you're on the floor, we'll just stagger our stance. We're only gonna do six on the right and six on the left. You can be on your hands and feet. You can be on your hands and knees. You can just be on a plank. Or you can be on, if you're on a stability ball, let your hips rest on the ball and your hands come to the floor. The more of your body that's on the ball, the uh, less challenging it is. Not to say it's easy, because it's never easy. All right, so if you're coming with me, tuck your toes under, you can either be on your knees, I'm gonna stay on my knees. And don't forget, your triceps are kinda tired here, so um, keep your form as good as you can, please. Right hand forward. Left hand underneath your shoulders, shift your hips forward. We're gonna go six on this side, six on the other side. We start in four, three, and here we go. One, two, three. And remember if you're on a different pace, it's okay. Four, keep your hips low. Five, six, just sit back, child pose, switch. Other side, let's go for six. Six, five, move your hips a little bit more forward, Joe. Four. Three, get your hips in front of your knees. Two, one more, uh-huh, a little bit, but there you go. Sit back, right? So it's going back to that like 
you know, fulcrum thing, like where you place the fulcrum, where the most work is going to be done. <clears throat> Some of us just got out of school, so we'll remember that. The rest of us, it's a little blur. All right, uh, flat bench press on your back. Good old fashioned bench press, hips in the air, or legs in the air, or on the floor. Five, six, seven, let's go. Twelve, eleven, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, last four, three, give me two more please, and the last one. Good. Now, this one is a pullover with a crunch though. So the arms are gonna come back and we're going to bring the legs up, crunch, arms and legs down, or you can do one leg at a time or any variation that works for you. Two arms, soft elbow. This is from the shoulder, the elbows don't change. Weights up, on your backs, four, three, two, all the way over. Pull it over, crunch. Pull it over, crunch. Three, and breathe. Four, up, five, six. Are you breathing? Seven, head and shoulders lift if you can. Eight, good, nine, looking good guys. 10, 11, last one is 12, and come on up. Do a nice little stretch, open the front of your shoulders and chest. On your hands and knees, your choice of how you're doing your push-ups, yeah? Are you staying on your knees? If you're on your knees, shift your body weight a little forward so you're, you're not, um, just dipping your chest, you've got a little body weight here coming forward, giving yourself a little bit more challenge, shoulders and triceps and chest. Right arm forward, left arm back. Three, two, go. One, two, three, four, five. A little more forward, Joe. Six. Uh-huh, come back. Good, so you wanna shift your weight, other side over your right, um, your shoulder over your right wrist. Three, two, one, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, and back. Good, on your backs. Good old fashioned bench press, chest press. You're on your back. Legs where you want them. Arms up over your chest. Three, two, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, four more. Four, three, two, and one. Good. Last one in this set, pullovers with a crunch. Two weights if you can, one weight. This is shoulder action, not elbow, so the elbows don't change. They're slightly bent, but they don't change in the action of the exercise. On your backs, legs down or up. Ready, here we go. Pull it over, crunch, two, Crunch, three, crunch, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, good. Um, you will need only one more weight for this next 
set. One weight is all you'll need when we get there. All right, on your backs, final set. All the way on your back. We're gonna sit up and bring right elbow to left knee and back down again to the other side. If you cannot do a full sit up, you can do this on your back, elbow to knee, elbow to knee. All right, your choice. We're only doing 12 of them. Ready, set. On your backs. Four, three, two. Here we go. Elbow to knee one. Two, twist. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. You don't have to come all the way up. Nine, ten, eleven. And 12. Good. On your back. Feet together. Hands behind your head. Open up your knees, but don't let your back arch. So pull your belly in. Cubic bone up. Ready? 12 crunches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I changed my mind on the exercise. Eight. So we don't need to wait. <laughs> three. Keep the action going with your torso. Bring your feet in the air. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, elbow to opposite knee, right here. Here we go. 1, 2, 3. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Good. Bring it in. Feet on the floor. Quick little twist side to side. That is pretty windy out there in South Florida, you guys. I did see that wind sign on my weather app. All right, here we go. But it's bringing a nice little breeze into us. First set, elbow to knee, either on your back or coming all the way up. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Scoop out your belly. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Good on your back. Feet together. 12 crunches go. One, two, looking straight down your body. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Same action. Legs in the air. 12, 11, 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, elbow to opposite knee go. Twelve, eleven, ten, nine, eight, knees are over hips, seven, move them away from your chest, six, five, Four, three, two, and one. Hug your knees all the way up. Ah, good job, guys. You are done. Let's do a little stretchy stretch. Hug your knees all the way in. Cross right leg all the way over left. Grab ankle, shins, or toes. You made it, hump day. You just got over that hump. Good. Now, open up your arms. Let your legs fall to the left, but keep your right foot on the floor, and then bring your left knee down to the floor. So kind of like a figure four, we're pushing our, left, our right ankle against our left thigh and working on opening out that right leg. Just, it's not gonna move a whole lot of distance. Oops. Good, then release the foot and go deeper into your twist. Back to center, figure four now. 
Take your right arm and press your right knee away from you. And then release the right leg in the air, flex and point, roll through the ankle. Walk your hands up, lift your head and shoulders, option to extend your left leg out or even hold it off the floor. Your head and shoulders come down, hug your knees to your chest. Left leg crosses all the way over right leg, grab ankle, shins or toes, draw your heels to your buttocks, tailbone to the floor. Open up the arms. Bring your knees open to the right, but let your left foot stay on the floor. And then let, let, let your right leg come down a little bit more. And then it's just as if you're pushing your left ankle against your right knee. You might even want to use your hand here. And then release the feet and come into a deeper twist. They're not one's better than the other, they're just different. On your back, left ankle over right knee, left hand presses that left leg away, gently. Left foot is extended, or flexed, excuse me. Left ankle. And then come back to center, left knee to your chest, extend the leg to the air, flexing point. Walk your hands up towards your foot or down. Leg out and the other side, if it feels okay on your back, maybe you're hovering it off, maybe your upper body comes up a little bit higher. And then release, knee to chest, hug it in, wrap on your spine. Rock and roll over to your hands and knees, give me a little cat-cow stretch. Arch your back, round your back. Yeah, those triceps are going to feel nice and uh, challenged tomorrow. Walk your hands in front of you, dip your belly, chin, chest, stretch out a little more of that shoulder chest. Take your right arm under your left palm up and bring the back of your head to the floor. Bring the right arm forward again. Take the left arm underneath the right, back of the head towards the floor. And then back to center. Walk your hands in just enough, tuck the toes, find a downward facing dog. Mine is wide, so I'm not slipping on my mat. Walk your hands back to your feet. Take your arms behind your back, interlace your fingers, palms together, knuckles up and away, hang your head. Tuck your chin towards your chest as you slowly roll up. Roll the shoulders back and around a couple times. Take a big breath in, bring your arms up. Stretch, 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 lean to the right, lean to the left, back to center. Release the arms, roll them around. And you guys at home, stay home, stay fit, stay healthy.